let's dive into Helicoprion. Before we dive into today's video, I want everyone to go subscribe to this guy right here. He helped me out with making a green screen kind of video for my intro. And I will put the link to his account in the description. Thank you so much. Do you love the ocean and all the weird things in it like this? This, 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 or this? If so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything ocean related. Helicoprion is a shark straight out of a horror movie that you would have never been able to ever think of. These marine predators grew to the size of a great white shark. However, the similarities stop there, as far as these sharks go. When fossils of this shark were first found, people thought it was a species of ammonite, which is an extinct species of cephalopod with a shell but it was determined that it was actually a toothy structure rather than a shell of an ammonite. What makes this shark so unique is its tooth whorl, which is this structure. That is what scientists called it, a tooth whorl. It continues to puzzle scientists to this day because they cannot determine what it was used for. The most logical guess is that this unique structure was located on the lower jaw of the creature and used to slice through prey. After examination of these teeth, it was determined that these were predators of softer bodied prey like squids, because the teeth were actually not very hardy and they weren't able to be replaced as quickly as sharks like great whites. Regardless of what they hunted though, I would be very scared to ever run into this shark, which is why I'm glad that this shark is in the past. Also, I'd like you to comment down below, is this shark scarier than Megalodon, or is Megalodon scarier than this shark? Comment down below.